Wow, look at these, uh, Mr. Hernandez in uh, First Solar. Uh, I noticed at the public board meeting uh, that they donated again this year to the band and the trustees accepted that. Yes, absolutely. We truly appreciate their donation and their donations, particularly uh, First Solar's donations. You can see we have three first place uh, trophies for our band that they received December 14th um, from their competition. And we have a, uh, our band got a third place and a fourth place on the band review. Uh -huh. So the money has been placed to really fantastic and great use. We truly appreciate that. And without those donations coming in, um, and we would have been able to get these first place, second place, and third place trophies. Sure. Uh, we truly appreciate all for our support, but particularly appreciate some uh, our first for, uh, for helping us out. Sure, sure. And uh, Mr. Ferrandini, a gifted musician and teacher, and, and, uh, uh, Mr. Martin explaining that when he grew up, he didn't have enough money to get a, his family to get him a piano, and and so that struck a kindred uh, spirit note. He and that's why he's anxious to help this program. And Mr. Fernandez is an absolutely fantastic music teacher. Yeah. He has been a, uh, a fantastic music teacher since he got here, and it is a continuous. Uh, Support of our kids in yeah. the community and his enthusiasm for music yeah. uh, that really has led to these achievements. And these achievements are constant every single year. There's first uh, place uh, achievements for our kids and our students. And as I explained to our students when they receive these, they now become part of the tropical music tradition. They could always come back to tropics, tropical middle school and say, I helped earn that. Mm -hmm. our and these trophies are from the Palmdale uh, competition? Yes, from recently? the competition. Uh -huh. from the band review as well. So mm -hmm. it, it's not just here, Rosen. Obviously, we go out and sure. we compete against other schools, and we are always coming up on top. Sure. So it's something to be said about uh, Mr. Perrin but definitely about our corporate sponsorship, which we really appreciate. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, something to be proud of. Thanks very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have uh, asked um, all food service uh, managers to no longer charge for any meals at our cafeterias. So we are going meal free. Um, so we've already had breakfast and dinner for those in the after school program, dinner um, for free We at all campuses, including the high school. Um, mm -hmm. And we obviously have free and reduced lunches um, throughout our entire campuses. But um, after studying our financials and the efficiencies that we'd be able to manage in our food services with the help of Sodexo, our uh, partners in the food service, we have decided that um, now it it's, was always our goal, and now we're biting the bullet and we're going to go for it. And um, we are now no longer charging for lunches either. So a child in our district can come and get three meals a day without, um, without having to be charged for it. So we're really hoping that this not only inspires um, uh, families to participate in our food services, but it's, it's, uh, we hope it really helps those economically challenged in the community. Um, if you are raising a family of multiple children and money is very, very tight, we are very much aware of the cost of, of feeding your family. And if your children can be fed by the district during the week, three square meals, and, and all you really need to do is really work on you know, making sure they're well fed over the weekend. We think that's a, a really positive, positive thing the school district uh, can do. So we're really excited about that. We're very proud of the progress we've made in that area of helping the community. And um, we're, you know, looking forward to finding other areas that we can help the economic challenge in the community. This is Wednesday afternoon, the 8th of January. And I'm looking at new models going up here in the Legacy Tract off 35th Street and Roseman Boulevard. These are supposed to be, I believe, the new models. Even though grading has been done for more homes. It's been a long time since Roseman has seen new models going up and this is a welcome sight. 
developers' fees will flow into the Southern Kern Unified School District. Water and sewer hookup fees will flow into the Rosemont Community Services District. It's a happy time. Lighthouse Ministries, new church here on Sierra Highway, is looking great. This all metal building looks like the outer walls are completely up. The uh, objective here is to close this building in and then later work on some of the interior as the church is able to. John Bell, a Rosemond resident, is building this building and his son is actually superintendent on this job. November 20th, here in Los Angeles at the LA Auto Show. So I figured, I figured since it's a new data, we can split it. Dozens of vehicles were nominated and a panel of MPG members narrowed them down to 12 vehicles in two categories. Under and over $29,000, which is the average transaction price of a new car in this country. With the help of AutoHarvest.com, we encourage our members to research and evaluate their choices, not based just on driving dynamics, but on true product innovation. Our members voted and today I'll be presenting two trophies designed by the Art Center College of Design in Pasadena. So the winners. In the under $29,000 category, the members of the Motor Press Guild selected a vehicle that has not only made great innovations in fuel and weight-saving technology, but has also raised the bar for design, style, and driving dynamics in the compact segment. This car has long been a favorite of enthusiasts and journalists, but in its latest iteration, it has broadened its appeal to more all types of drivers. So I want to present the Innovation Vehicle of the Year Award in the under $29,000 category to the 2014 Mazda 3. And accepting the award from Mazda, Jim O'Sullivan, President and CEO of Mazda North American Operations. Jim, congratulations. Thank you. Alright, our winner in the over $29,000 category is the new development of a classic theme. This isn't just a car, it is a true legend with a legacy to uphold and the team that engineered this vehicle managed to keep its basic character intact while using advanced technology to improve not only fuel economy but driving dynamics as well. Thanks to some, thanks to some amazing computer and chassis tuning, this car turns into the clumsiest, most ham-fisted driver, and that would be me, into an absolute driving god. Uh, this car embodies both tradition and innovation, and of course the car I'm talking about is the 2014 Chevrolet Corvette which we have to pull the cover off of, here we go. And accepting the award from Chevrolet is Tim Mahoney, Global Vice President of Chevrolet Marketing. Hello, this is for Chevy.